So, Lord, we thank you for all that you've done, for all that you are, for who you are. We praise you because you're God all by yourself. There's no one equal to you. There's no one like you. You're the sunshine in the morning. You're the rain in the noonday. Lord, you're my everything. So I thank you for blessing and glory. Bless now, Lord. Bless these, your people, that we might hear your word. That we might apply it to our lives. That we might serve you like we've never served you before. Bless now. This we ask, we pray in Christ Jesus. We ask it all. Amen. For your reading this morning, we want to share with you out of two passages of scriptures. First, coming out of 1 Corinthians, the ninth chapter, verses 23 through 27. 1 Corinthians, the ninth chapter, starting at verse 23 through 27. And as always, I'll read the first verse. We'll ask you to join in on the second, and we'll alternate reading verses till we get to verse 27. 1 Corinthians 9, 23 reads, And this I do for the gospel's sake that I might be partakers thereof with you. And every man that strives for the magistracy is tempted in all things. Now ye, now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we for an incorruptible. In verse 27 together. But I keep my body and bring it into subjections, lest I, when I preach to others, I myself should always. And now, uh, reading your hearing, Romans, the first chapter, verse 16. Romans, the first chapter, verse 16 reads For I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Why? Because it's the power of God. And what does the power of God do? It, it, it leads us unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jews first and also to the Greeks. This morning we want to discuss, you may be seated, you may be seated. I'm asking God to slow me down and to let me just ease into his word and for the gospel's sake for the gospel's sake in 2019 we need to do everything we need to do for one reason only for the gospel's sake and as we look through this thing we wondered and we asked the question what is the gospel because we have simplified it and made it almost too simple we have came and tried to dumb it down. We have bring people in saying the gospel is, is the gospel of Jesus Christ and God so loved the world he gave his only begotten son, his son gave his life, and that's the gospel. We tried to dumb it down so folks would capture it and understand it. But in, in our efforts to make it simple and to dumb it down, we've taken the essence of the gospel away from itself. See, the gospel is not to be simple. It's complicated. Yeah, yeah. it's, 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 it's a wonder that nobody else could master. Only God could do it himself. It is so great that man could never figure it out. Who in their right mind would give their only begotten son? It's complicated. Then we tried to dumb it down to make it simple for folks to understand. The, the gospel is not to be dumbed down because it's not for dummies. You ought to know that you 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 know. Ain't nothing dumb about the gospel. The gospel is to illuminate. 
to elevate, to exhortate. The gospel is not for dummies. What is the gospel? What is the gospel? There is six things I need you to notate about this thing called the gospel. Six things you need to notate about the gospel. First thing you need to notate about the gospel, take a note. The gospel is a plan. The gospel didn't just so happen. It wasn't a fluke. It wasn't a last minute idea. The gospel was a plan. Even before the foundation of the earth, God had a plan. The plan was a gospel. The gospel was a plan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even while you and I were still in sin, yet Christ decided. Yes. Even before the foundation of this world, before you were a wink in your daddy's eye or a twinkle in your mama's hip, God had a plan. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The gospel was a plan. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. A plan that's exactly from God. It wasn't a coincidence. Yeah, 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 it yeah, wasn't yeah, one of them yeah. things that just happened. Yeah. And we yeah. ended up with the gospel. Well. <laughs> Ooh, glory, glory. The second thing you need to understand about this thing is the gospel is an event. <laughs> the gospel was a planned event. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, something had to happen for the event to happen. See, the gospel was a planned event. See, God planned an event called the gospel. For God so loved the world, he planned the event. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. Help us, Holy Ghost. Help yeah. us, Holy Ghost. Christ just carried it out. But it was God's plan. Christ carried out a plan that God written in heaven that only the angels knew about. It was orchestrated by God. It was an event. Yeah. Jesus came and said, I must do the will of him that sent me. He said, I didn't come to do my own will. I didn't come to be Burger King, having my way. Yeah. Yeah. But I came to be obedient. Thank you, Lord. Even to death. Yeah. I came to obey even to the cross. I, I came to do the will of him that sent me. It's an event. The third thing you need to have the understanding about. It was a plan. It was an event. It was an activity that was carried out successful. It was an successful, it was a successful activity that was carried out. See, 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 a lot of times people venture off into activities or adventures and they end up not fulfilling what they planned on doing. Some might say Columbus discovered America, but Columbus wasn't looking for America. Columbus thought the world was flat. He was proving a point. He was telling everybody else, if I sail long enough and far enough, I ain't going to fall off. I, ain't, I don't know where I'm going to end up, but I ain't going to fall off. Now, let me tell you, when the gospel came, God had a planned event that was activated. Hallelujah! God activated it. And it was carried out by Jesus Christ. The fourth thing you need to understand about the gospel, it is free. It was offered freely. Salvation is freely offered. The Bible tells us that you didn't you didn't earn it. You didn't work for it. It's a gift of God. It's a gift of God, not of works. Lest any man should go around and say, Look at me. I once was lost in sin, but Jesus took me in and then a little light from heaven filled my soul. He wrote my name above. He filled my heart with love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. The salvation that we talk about, the gospel is free. Thank you, Jesus. 
It's free. That's the fourth thing you need to understand is F-R-E-E. -E. Free, 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 free. But even in the fifth thing I want to share with you, you got to apply for it. It takes applications. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 Even though it's free, you, you need an application to be in the gospel. You need to fill out an application. Even though it's free, you need to fill out an application. Well, why do I need to fill out an application? To see if you qualify for the free gift. You got to fill out an application say if you're willing to confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt. You got to fill out an application to see if you qualify because everybody ain't going to heaven. Come on. Everybody ain't saved. Come on. Everybody ain't going to see him in his glory. Going around talking about we all God's children. No, you not. You of your father, the devil. Until you confess with your mouth, fill out your application, say, Jesus loves me. This I know. Because the Bible tells me so. You got to fill out the application. God came that all might be saved, but all won't be saved. You got to apply for that position. I want to be saved. I want Jesus in my life. I want him to save me from my sins. I want him to watch me and make me whole again. You got to apply. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why in the world are you going to apply for a fee, a free bill? Because it's from God. That's why you have to apply. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Mm. Even though it's free. Unless you fill out the application, you won't be saved. Hallelujah. Yeah, it's free. Hallelujah. God paid the price through Christ Thank Jesus. You, the gospel. Thank you. But unless you fill out the application, Hallelujah. you're destined to go to hell. I don't care what church you belong to. I don't care if T.D. Jakes is your pastor. You better make sure T.D. to fill out the application too. You have to apply for this position to be a child of the most high God. To be a saint. To be sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. You got to apply for that position. To be washed in the blood. Thank you, you got to apply. Yeah, yeah. You just can't show up. Yeah. Sing in the choir and go to hell. Preach in the pit and go to hell. Sit on the board and go to hell. Never fill out your application. You got to apply. And then after you apply, you got to do an activation. <laughs> see, 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 every year if you own a credit card, when that old one expires, they send you a new credit card, don't they? And they got a little sticker on their credit card, don't they? Yeah, 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 yeah. With a 1-800 number, you have to call to activate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even though you got the card, Guess what? It ain't activated. No, you can't buy nothing. <laughs> you can go and sit in the church. These chairs sit here every Sunday, but they ain't activated. You got to activate in yourself what God has done for you. You ought to activate the fact that he washed you. He cleaned you up. He made you whole. He sanctified you. Jesus loved me. This I know. He got to talk to you every now and then.
that me. You got that in your face. You got that in your face. He walks with me. He talks with me. And he tells me I'm his own. And the boss I hear, sweetly in my ear, not out of. You got that in your face. I know the law for myself. Mama knew it, that's good. Grandmama knew it, that's good. But now I can say to the other, shadow down, that I know it. I've activated it. Something inside me just won't be still. I holler for no reason at all. Just run down my face. Does you no good to have it? It ain't activated. Does you no good to walk around and say, yeah, I go to New Salem? But you never dial that number to activate. You never fell on your knees and said, Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help I know. Yes, Lord. You got to activate it. Yes, Lord. 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 Jesus explained it like this to Nicodemus. He said, Nicodemus, uh, and then Nicodemus came to him at night, like some of us, you know, y'all you, still got the night light, don't you? <laughs> you have uh, always been in church. <laughs> some of us did our best work at night. <laughs> In the shadow of darkness. <laughs> Night crawl. That's my drug boy. But this is the, this is the this is the importance behind this. That we must understand for this glorious gospel of Jesus Christ to be working in us. It's up to us. Even though it's a free gift of God. Even though God gives it to us and we did nothing for it. You can't do nothing to lose it. So if I act up, this week I'm saved and next week I'm not saved, that's not true. Either you got it or you don't. Jesus told Nicodemus, look Nicodemus, that which is born of flesh is flesh. What he was trying to explain to Nicodemus, look Nicodemus, your daddy and your mother stuck with you for
Right. Don't you think I can bring you forever oh, and you right. never be changed? Oh, That's why he said that which is born of spirit is right. spirit. The problem is so many people just church folks. Right. They ain't spiritual right. folks. Right. So you have to get out of the church and get in Jesus. Get out of the church. Get in Jesus. Once I'm in Jesus, I'm sealed until the day of redemption. No man. I can't walk out. Now you can't leave the church building. But I, my question is, you just in the building. Is the building in you? You in the you you we call this a church, but all this is the building. Yeah, yeah. Thirty-two years ago, it was an electrical shop. They did wiring and all type of electrical work. So if this building go, you mean your church gone? Well, know you not that you know not that ye are the temple of the Holy Ghost, where you are sealed until the day of redemption. This is the church right here. So every time you go to the club, you take it to church. Every time you creep in the window, you take it to church. Every time you roll, puff, puff, and pass, pass. Know you not that you are the temple of God. So in 2019, when he calls, late in the midnight hours, and he say, what you doing? And you say, ain't doing nothing. You know exactly why he called you at 12 at night and not 12 at noon, right? You are the church if you have accepted Jesus. If you embrace the gospel of God through Jesus Christ, you are the church, young people. You want to run a little boy off? Let me tell you what to do. Huh? Let me tell you what to do. Don't threaten him with your daddy. If he want to kiss you, ask him the last time he kissed the church. So you want to kiss the church? He going to say, girl, what in the world are you talking about? He Tell him Jesus is in me, and I am the church. Now, do you really want to feel on the church? Let's keep it real. And I bet you that dude will either think you wacko or he'll say, that's the real deal. I'm leaving her alone. And I'm going to wait till I get my life right, then I'm going to go look for her. But right now, I ain't going to mess with her. For the gospel's sake. We've got to start doing things for the gospel's sake. For the sake of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let me get to our lesson. Then I'm going to get out of here. 1 Corinthians. Paul is writing to the church because he wants the church to understand. He said, for this I do for the gospel's sake. That I might be a partaker of what God is doing. See, it's important that in 2019 you become a partner with God. See, we all had partners. We had partners out there in the street. We had some ride and die partners. Yeah, we had some partners we ride and die with. But in this thing called the gospel, you need partners. See, they understand that you're not alone in this thing. That you are a community of believers. We work together to uplift the name of Jesus, to tell a dying world that there's a reality in serving a true and living God. We're partners in this. He said, I want to be partakers of what God has. 
I don't just want to sing in the choir. I want to be partakers of what God has. Yes, I just don't want to preach in the pit. Yes, I want to be partakers of what God has. Yes, yes, I just yes. don't want to geek on the board. Yes. I want to be partakers of yes. what God's got going yes, on. Yes, yes. Yes. You know, there's a song that, 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 that I heard of Marvin Stanley and, 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 and Bishop uh, down in New Orleans. Uh, uh, oh, Martin. 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 He said, God, whatever you do, in this seat, in this seat, don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. When you promise with God, he said, God, you got something up your sleeve. You are got to do something. But whatever it is, if you God, include me. Whatever it is you're doing, call me up. You got my mouth. Yes, sir. I'm partners with you, Lord. I'm just not hanging out to be hanging out. I'm a partner in this thing. I want to be part of what you're doing. Then he goes over and says, look, know you not, they that, they that run in the race, but one. There you go. Thank you, Brother John, for pulling that up. You know I'm old. They all run to receive the prize. So run. Run. See, 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 we all think heaven is the prize. Oh, we all going to heaven. We going to walk on streets of gold. We going to look at it. But heaven, heaven is just a finish line. Come on. Heaven ain't the goal. Come on. See, the goal is that God get all he can get out of Richard Lewis while he's here. Yeah. Then he gonna cross the finish line in heaven. He gonna cross over the pearl gates. He gonna walk up, but that's a finish line. Yes, sir. But I'm gonna run this race that's before me with patience, striving to do all that God has called me to do. Yes, sir. How did you cross the finish line? Huh. And you ain't ready. Well, well, well. Everybody wants to go to heaven. Yeah. You go to the club. Mm -hmm. Raise a, uh, ask a question. Hey, how many of y'all want to go to heaven? Yeah. Even the drunk could throw his hand up in there. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Everybody want to go, but nobody want to run the race. Oh, yeah. Nobody want to put no sweat and tears into what God has called them to do. Help us, Holy Ghost. Help us, Holy Ghost. Help us, Lord. But I want to win the race. Yeah, yeah. I not only just want to run it, I want to win. Yeah. See, some of us just happy to run. That's why we go. <coughs> That's how we live. But let me tell you something. True athlete that want to run to win, them dudes get down on the block. They get in their position. Well, and they wait for the gun to go off. Well, and they don't come up like that. They come up like, whoa. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. going to get it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, all right. In 2019, you better run like you want to get it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. If you want to be all that God has called you to do, you better quit strolling. Yeah. You need to quit yes, going through the tulips yes, and run. Yes, sir. Run like you want to win. Thank you, Run like you want to win. Folks gonna talk yeah. about you and say yeah. something wrong with you, girl. Yeah. Oh, that ain't necessary. Say, so, nah, baby, I'm trying to win. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to win. You just don't know. I'm trying to win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You ever see a basketball win. team? Mm -hmm. The other night, the Lakers played Ooh, no, Golden no. State. Oh. The Lakers played like they wanted to win. Yeah. <laughs> and they wore them out. Yes. Golden State played like they were just in the game. <coughs> and they lost. Well, well. So many of us playing like we just want to be in the game. Well, and we ain't going to win. Help, help. You got to go into this thing like you're in it to win. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every man that strives for the magistrate is tempted in all things. Look, folks, ain't none of us perfect. Perfect, including me. I done fell short in 2018, and I pray God keep me in 2019 if I get to see it. 
But because you fall short, that is no excuse to lay down. Because you ain't doing all that you could, should have, could have, would have done. Ain't no excuse not to get up and say, Lord, I'm going to press on. Now is not the time to lay down and play duck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Regardless, when we've all had trials, we all had trials during 2018. Yeah, yeah. Some of us have lost loved ones. Some of us have lost life issues. And some of us have lost finances. Some of us have lost things in this world. But Paul says, all the things I lost, I count for dawn. That I might just win Christ. That's all I'm going to do. If I win Jesus, everything's going to be all right. Why do I know everything's going to be all right if I win Jesus? Because Jesus has already told me, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. That he already cured, he already secured me and telling me that all things work together for the good that him that love the Lord. To send that a cow according to his purpose. His purpose. Thank you. His purpose. Thank you, Miss Robin. Thank you. His purpose. So everything that happened to me in 2018, God's going to work it out. Everything I went through in 2018, God is already working it for my good. Every now and then you ought to say, God, I thank you for the good. I, think, I don't want to understand it, but thank you for the good. Lord, I thank you, I thank you. The old saints used to say, I understand it better. But I ain't lost. When the morning comes. Thank you for your good. I had to shed some tears, but thank you, because it's good. Hey, 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 hey. I had some sleepless nights, but thank you for the good. I had some heartache and some pain, but thank you for the good. I don't understand it all, but thank you. For the good. For the good. Because you promised me it's going to turn out to be good. Thank you. I might be like Joe. Folks might have thrown me in a pit. But it's going to be good. Yeah, folks might have lied on me. But it's going to be for the good. I might have got thrown in jail. But it's going to be for the good. We do this to obtain when a man runs for a corruptible crime. But you and I run for an incorruptible. Corruptible means it's bad, it will corrode, it will fade away, it's temporal, it ain't here to stay. But I do what I do that God one day will crown me with a crown of righteousness. He will call me as his own. That ain't corruptible crime. The old folks used to say he got a white robe for me I can put on. And he got shoes I can put on. But I do it just so he can crown me with his glory. And own me as his own. That's why I do what I do. That's why I promised him that I would serve him. Yeah, 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 yeah. I promised him that the only way I quit in Jackson get this was left. Yeah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. An incredible crowd. Hallelujah. 26, Brother Jackson. That's where I'm going to run. Now that it's uncertain, like I don't know why I'm running. Hey, now that I'm confused of why I do what I do, I know exactly why I do what I do. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. I sing because it's odd. It's on the sparrow and I know. I ain't confused why I do this. I ain't doing it for dollars or for cents. I'm doing it because he called me. 
He wrenched me when I was still out there in the world. When I was still crawling in other men's windows, he called me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. When I was still at the liquor house buying boom form and six, seven, he called me. <coughs> when I was still at the club, sipping on my favorite gin and juice, he called me. When I was still on Grove, 1803, sitting back in the den, he called me. And he took all that from me. And I'm happier now. I got joy. That the joy didn't give me. I got happiness. sit back and watch. And, and I was warring in my mind. You know, I'm saying the people of God know the truth. But they won't live the truth. They know the truth, but they won't live. They refuse to live the truth. You know you got to study to show yourself approved unto God. Workmen that need not be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. If you don't study the word of God, you ain't going to grow in the word of God. You are what you eat. Yeah. Yes. If you eat that much of the scriptures, that much of the scriptures, all you're going to know. You're going to be 212 years old, and all you know is the 23rd Psalm. First verse. <laughs> Amen. Yes. 
The Bible tells us, he that knoweth to do good and to do it not. I got to that time. To him or to her that is sin. You know, we know what God requires of us. God expects us to do. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get ready to go home. Verse 27. But I keep my body and I bring it under subjection. Lest by any means I preach to others and I myself become a castaway. What Paul is saying, nothing to do with salvation. What Paul is talking about is that you live such a stinky life. And say you're a Christian. And nobody believes anything that comes out of your lips. Why? Because they watch your hips. Your lips say one thing, but your hips say it's another thing. You say, I'm a child of God. I love Jesus. I'm saved. I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. But you live like this. You talk like this. You walk like this. You act like this. Come on, Jesus. And we get so bold that we bring that up in here. Come on. Yeah, I'm going to say it, I'm going to say it, I'm going to say it. There was a stench of marijuana in this place a couple of days ago. Now, I'm too afraid of God to do something that stupid. And when you get to that boldness, that you won't even check yourself, come on. You need to check your salvation to see if you really got what you say you have. Because you just might have a form of godliness. Come on. Come on. Come on. Your father. He said, I don't want to be cast away. Can you imagine singing in the choir for 10 years and dying and go to hell? Yeah. Preaching in the pulpit for 30 years and dying and go to hell? If I'm going to go to hell, guess what? I'm going to know every club in old time. If I'm going to hell, I might as well go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, everybody, wife, daughter, sister, niece. If I'm going to go to hell, I'm going to hell. Why would you play with God for 30 years and still go to hell? That's why we have to play, take this thing serious, folks. This salvation thing, this gospel thing is the real deal. God gave his best that you and I might have the gift of salvation. That's the gospel of Jesus Christ. And back to Romans. That's why Paul said, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed of what God has done. That's why I don't testify in glory. That's why Pike talks about his life and Lewis. They ain't glorifying that life. They just let you know how big a fool they were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until, yeah. until God finally showed yeah. him Thank you, Lord. that the wages Thank of you, sin yeah. Yeah. is death. Yeah. But I got a gift for you. Yeah. It's eternal life through Christ Jesus. We don't glorify young adults in what we did. We try to prevent you from walking that same foolish path that we walk. Then it leads to nowhere but death. There's a way that looketh right unto man, but the end thereof is destruction and death. Yeah, it looks good. But it ain't no good. It's an apple with a worm at the center of the core. Right, right, right. So I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Why? Because it's power. Yes, It's power. Holy Ghost power. It ain't just power to make a scene and a holler and scream, but it's power that I walk for. I go see a lamp and turn my feet, and a light and turn my hand, and I can walk the way He wants me to turn the walk. It's power that I still use this mouth the same way I used to out there, but now I speak His words instead of my words. It's the power of God. That's why 
why I'm not ashamed of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not ashamed <laughs> that God has washed me and cleaned me up right, right, right. and made me whole. Right. I'm not ashamed of what God has done. I'm ashamed sometimes that it took me so long to realize that I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour, I need you. I'm not ashamed of what God has done. And young ladies, you don't have to be ashamed. Because we all once was lost in sin. But Jesus took us in. And then a little light from heaven filled my soul. He paid my heart with love. And he wrote my name. Hallelujah. You don't have to be ashamed. And don't let the devil make you ashamed of your past. But tell him, I got a bright future in Christ Jesus. Oh yeah, I might have done that. I might have said that. I might have even been that. But I'm not that anymore. I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. All things have passed away. Behold, all things. Yeah, that, 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 that same parish, you know, your dad used to have a move in the club. You got to be at the club and, you know, you know, we had a little swag at the club. And, and guess what? God never took my movement from me. He still let me move. I just moved to a different beat right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to move to the smooth tone. You know, what do you say? Turn out the lights. Light the candles. But now I turn on the lights. Come on, to so light up people's lights. To let them know ain't nothing good going on in the door. Come on, sir. Thank you, Lord. The gospel. It was a plan from God. The gospel. It's an event that was carried out by his son, Jesus Christ. He took the activity among himself to go forth and tabernacle with us for 33 and a third years. The gospel, it was created, it was formed, it was designed by God for you and I. Because he loved us that much. Don't you want to be a part of God's plan? He's not going to force it on you. You got to sign and fill out an application for him to see if you want to be saved. He said, whomsoever will. It's up to you if you want to fill out an application. He said, Jesus, I've done it my way for 20 plus 30, 40, and Lord, I'm ready to do it your way. I'm ready to fill out the application for you. And I'm ready for you to adopt me as your child. Yes. Bring me into the house of salvation. Wash me and make me whole again. And once you do that, he'll seal you. He'll give you that blessed assurance. So why don't we stand?